I guess we've been wrestling with the reality that um, there's a lot we just take for granted uh, in church, uh, what, we, what we're used to, and uh, so we're looking at, at how we can do things differently and not just picking up what we've known and, and really asking the question of if we're going to meet the needs of this community, if we're going to connect with this community, how do we, how do we need to uh, shape ourselves as, as a church? Uh, so, I mean, that comes down to, right down to, you know, how, what are we going to do with offerings? How are we going to handle that? Uh, how are we going to preach? What sort of things are we going to include in our liturgy? Um, all those sorts of questions. So, it, it's, it's, it can be time consuming, uh, it can be hard work, but, it, but it's really exciting as well. And where have you been stretched? Um, well, at the moment, I'm largely responsible for transitioning Williton Church um, as well, uh, as well as um, working with the pastor that will take over there. And so I've been really stretched in having my head sort of in two different churches, uh, trying to work out the transition for Williton Church, but also um, you know starting something new in Wilson and, and getting that going. So that's been a really stretching thing. Finally, what can we be praying for you about? Uh, I guess really pray that as a core group, um, I guess we're starting out with this great vision that we will be missional, um, that we will be intentional about connecting with the community. Um, I just really pray that that vision doesn't get lost in setting up a church, <laughs> um, that, that we really can put um, mission right at the centre of, of who we are and what we do, um, but that we can still come up with ways of uh, discipling our people yeah. so that people are, are growing as well as you know meeting uh, those around them. So that would be a, a real prayer point.